Hey everybody, it's Kevin Taylor with Wildlife Expeditions at T-Town Science Schools. It's early November and it's unseasonally warm today. It's in, it's around 50 degrees. And this time of year, I'm always thinking that everything here is preparing for winter. And uh, I want to show you this uh, ant hill, this ant nest that I came upon. Check this out, just over to my left, just to give you a sense for scale. This is huge. Look how big it is. And the whole nest is actually uh, made up of um, fir needles. All these trees up behind me here are Douglas fir. And the whole nest is made up of, of fir needles. I'm going to give you a close-up look at some ant movement here. They're not moving very fast, but they are moving. When I think of hibernators, I oftentimes think of bears. But also there's a lot of other things around here that hibernate. There's rodents, there um, are the snakes and frogs that hibernate, and then of course the insect species hibernate as well. And when these insects, when these ants go into hibernation, any day now, these layers and layers of fur needles are going to provide tremendous insulation for them. Remember, the closer you look, the more you see. Come exploring with me with Wildlife Expeditions of T-Town Science Schools.